This is one when I'm doing a mock interview with students, the students really, really, really mess up for one very specific reason. What's up guys, Dr. Gray with another video all about the medical school interview, this time specifically about the multiple mini interview or the MMI. Now, when I say those words, a lot of you are probably freaking out because it's a new interview and you're scared. Trust me, I understand. Now, when I was interviewing back in, I don't know, a long time ago, the multiple mini interview wasn't around and so I didn't need to worry about it but you do. It was something that was invented in Canada, thank you our friends up north, and is something that is now spreading across the US because medical schools like it and they think it is a way to evaluate students in a better way. Now listen to this, it evaluates students in a better way to help you. Now let's think through that, why is that? In a traditional interview, it's usually one student and one interviewer. And then you usually have two of those typically. So you have one student, one interviewer, same student, different interviewer. If you do not connect with one of those interviewers, that's 50% of your interview day kind of out the window. In a multiple mini interview, you have usually six to 10 stations where you will have the opportunity to perform at your best. If you mess up one of those stations, guess what? You still have several other stations to hopefully perform well to overcome that one bad station. So in a multiple mini interview, you typically will be placed outside of a room or a station as they're known. You will then be given typically two minutes to read a scenario that's in a folder or taped on the door, wherever that is. And you have two minutes to read the scenario and come up with your plan of action. Now, what you read in that scenario could lead you down many different paths. It could be a scenario where it says, enter the room and discuss with the interviewer. That cues you in to know that you're gonna enter the room, there's going to be an interviewer in there, and you're going to have a discussion about what is on that card. It could be an actor-based scenario where it says, hey, there's, there's a patient in the room who's been screaming, enter the room and, and calm the patient down and that will cue you in to know that, hey, this is an actor-based scenario. I'm walking into the room in, in a role doing something that the scenario is telling me I'm doing. Usually in those cases, there's going to be someone else in the room or potentially someone watching through a camera that is going to be scoring you and, and grading your interaction. You can have scenarios where you are going in talking to an interviewer where it's really not a scenario, but it's just a basic interview question, like tell me about yourself or why do you wanna be a doctor? You can get those on an MMI date as well. Now, before I go any further, one of the things I always like to say, I hate saying it, but I need to say it, is every medical school is going to be a little bit different with how they do their MMI day. Some medical schools are doing all stations, all actor based. Some medical schools are doing a mix of actor and interview based or uh, a writing station. Some medical schools are doing a little bit of MMI with a little bit of traditional. So every school is going to be a little bit different. And the school sometimes will tell you, sometimes they won't tell you what that MMI day will look like. But you'll find out on your day. I don't want that to be kind of a, a source of anxiety for you because it is what it is, right? You're gonna show up, you're gonna have fun no matter what. So another station that you can walk into is one where you are actually with another applicant, another student there interviewing with you. And the classic scenario that most of you potentially have heard about is the, the Lego station, where you walk in, one of you has a, a Lego car that is built and the other student has all of the Lego bricks just sitting there. And you two have to work together as a team to communicate to try to replicate the Lego car from the Lego bricks. Now, it sounds weird and challenging, but it really goes down to communication. At the end of the day, the MMI, just like a traditional interview, is all about communication. You can also have stations that are written scenarios and the writing scenarios are few and far between. I don't hear many students talking about them, but I've heard about them, so just to let you know about them. At the end of the day, again, the MMI is communication. So I want you to go into your scenarios communicating your thoughts. Talk about what you are thinking about. 
right? It may sound weird to walk into a room and, and think out loud your thought process behind why you're going to do something or not going to do something. So really understand that the more that you can communicate your thought process, the more that you can talk about your decision making, not necessarily what you are doing, but why you are doing it, that's important. And it's going to help you through the MMI process. You're, you're not going to be challenged with, does, does Sally know everything about being a physician and, and what they're gonna do in this situation? No, nobody knows. Right? Nobody knows the answers to all of these hard situations. And you're just a pre-med student, so you're not going to know, and the medical schools don't expect you to know. So don't worry about that. Go in and have fun and think through it. Now, one of the things that I really wanna focus on with you right now is the actor-based scenario. This is one when I'm doing a mock interview with students, the students really, really, really mess up for one very specific reason. They don't listen you are interacting with another human being. I need you, I implore you to use this time and treat it like real life. If you were sitting down in front of your friend, right? Let's say this, the scenario is a patient is upset. If you have a friend who is upset, what are you going to do? You're not going to just lecture them based on whatever the scenario said. You're going to talk to them. You're going to ask questions. You're going to find out why they are upset, what is causing this. You have to listen to their words because a lot of times in those actor-based scenarios, there's going to be something behind the scenario, something that you're not going to read about, but is there. And if you can get the interviewer, the, the actor rather, if you can get the actor talking about that, then you have gone down the right path. A lot of students think, they hear something and they're like, well, I, I heard that, but I didn't want to talk about that because that's not what the scenario was about. I'm like, well, how do you know the scenario wasn't about that? Don't read too far into these scenarios, especially, especially these actor-based ones, because it will get you in trouble. Ask questions, understand, have empathy, have compassion, treat it like real life. How do you prepare for the MMI then if it's just a big fun game? Well, I would encourage you to go listen to episode 152 of the pre-med years. In episode 152, I had a, an amazing discussion with Dr. Rivera from NYU. He was the, the Dean for Admissions there at NYU. And we both agreed that really to prepare for the MMI, it's understand what the MMI is and that's it. Too many students are out there trying to go over every single scenario possible that they're going to encounter. And that's impossible. So don't stress yourself out because when you get to your interview day, the first time you see a scenario that you haven't prepared for, you're going to spiral out of control. And I don't want you to do that. And now one final point that I need to make because a lot of students get this wrong is that for the most part, you don't have to speak the whole time. A lot of students think they have to fill up the whole six or eight minutes, whatever it is, inside the station. You don't have to do that. A lot of MMI scenarios are set up to where the interviewer will ask you follow-up questions. Now, there are some schools where the interviewers don't ask you that and they're, they're told to just sit there like a rock and not interact with you. And that is what it is. But make sure that you are not talking too much that you fill up the whole time because that's what you think you have to do. Answer the question in an efficient way without repeating yourself over and over again and you should be good. I think that's it for the MMI. I know it's a scary thing, but I hope after watching this video, you are encouraged, you are given some motivation, some information to help you understand that it's there to help you and not hurt you on your interview day. Again, go back and watch our other videos all about the medical school interview. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for more interviews about the MMI, the interview process, and much more about being a pre-med student here at the medical school headquarters.